Hi y'all, today I'm gonna apply flaxseed gel and aqua gel on my hair separately and make a comparison between the two. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. I'm starting on freshly washed hair. As usual, I let my hair air dry in twists so that it stays stretched and free from knots. I'm going to apply the aqua gel on the right part of my hair and the flaxseed gel on the left part of my hair. If you want to know how I made the okra and flaxseed gels, please check the videos in the info card and the description box. As you can see, I'm starting to apply the aqua gel on my hair in sections and I'm gonna do the same with the flaxseed gel later in this video. I make sure to massage it in my hair very well so that all my hair strands are coated. Okra is a vegetable crop grown in tropical and subtropical parts of the world. It originated from Ethiopia and was propagated in North Africa, in the Mediterranean, in Arabia and in India by the 12th century BC. Now you can find okra plants that are grown in many different countries such as Turkey, Iran, Japan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Thailand, Cyprus, etc. Aqua gel contains high levels of carbohydrates, proteins and minerals. The mucilaginous substances are acidic polysaccharides associated with proteins and minerals. Aqua gel can be used as medicine and it was proven to have anti-cancer, antimicrobial, hypoglycemic and anti-ulcer activities. So yeah, you can drink it too. The aqua gel makes my hair feel really soft, it has a lot of sleep so it makes finger detangling easier, my hair doesn't feel weighed down, it actually feels really light and soft. It also seems like it defines my natural curls very well, what do you think? I decided to use the comb to test the efficiency of the aqua gel as a natural detangler. It's not that bad, but it could be better. I think aqua gel can be a very good detangler if you make it thicker. In this video, I used a very liquidy aqua gel, so maybe it's not as efficient as the thicker one. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit, so it doesn't have as much sleep as I thought, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here because I don't want to pull my hair more using the comb. Hey. Now let's switch to flaxseed gel. Hey. This flaxseed gel was made with only cold water. You'll see in this case the detangling process is better. If you want to know how I made this flaxseed gel, you can check out the video in the description box below. Yay! Flaxseed gel is without a doubt a very good natural detangler. The mucilage of flaxseed gel is due to water-soluble polysaccharides. The seed itself also contains polyunsaturated fatty acids, essential amino acids, vitamin E, lignans and dietary fibers. It also has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant and anti-carcinogenic activities. 
Several people have asked me if they can use ground flax seeds or flax meal to make flaxseed gel. You can make flaxseed gel with ground flax seeds or flax meal but it will reduce the quality of the gel because other substances will be extracted such as proteins. It's better to make flaxseed gel from whole seeds using distilled water at pH 7. That's what I found from my research but I usually make flaxseed gel using tap water. I might try to use distilled water in the future to see if it makes any difference and of course I will keep you updated about this. Now let's do a detangling test with the white tooth comb. As you can see, the detangling process using flaxseed gel is way easier. I love it so much, it's so satisfying! Here my hair is about 90% dry, my hair feels very soft on both sides. Apparently aqua gel gives more curl definition but I think it's because I didn't detangle this side of my hair much compared to the other side where I applied my flaxseed gel. Both okra and flaxseed gels give you a wash and go look but keep in mind that this hairstyle creates so much knots so I don't recommend it if you want to retain a lot of hair length. My hair in the front has less shrinkage than my hair in the back as you can see I have different hair textures. It seems like I have some gel residues in my hair but it's just that it's not 100% dry, it will disappear once my hair is totally dry. That's it for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to both my English and French channels, the links will be in the description box and at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, bye!